I've got something for you guys this morning. I have here a Hershey's bar, a Reese's peanut butter cup, and a bag of M&Ms. Does anybody here know the significance of these three items? They are all chocolate. That's not what's significant about them. They, they probably do have lots of calories. Anybody know? They are. These are the three highest selling candy bars. M&M's number one, Reese's number two, and Hershey's number three. $1.5 billion in annual sales for these candy bars right here. Since you got the question right, would you like to pick one? That was Reese's to me, baby. Reese's? Okay. Now I know what you're asking yourself, what does this candy have to do, what's the, the significance of it in relation to the sermon? Well, it's absolutely nothing. I brought candy here just because I knew it would get you guys' attention. I think, I think it worked because everybody's chomping for a chance to get a little more candy. Now I'm going to ask you guys a question. Actually, I'm going to say a statement. And I would like to know, well, wh whoever can answer first gets their choice of the candy that's left here. Okay, a few of you, Pastor Mike, you're going to know this right away, Brother John, there's a few who are going to know where this verse is at. So give everybody else a chance to look it up before you answer, okay? Now, I know everybody's heard this, so get ready. Whoever can answer first where this verse is at gets their choice, M&M's or Hershey's. God helps those that help themselves. Who said that first? Miss Nellie said it. Miss Nellie is 100% correct. That is not in the Bible. Would you like a Hershey's bar or M&M's? All right, I still have a Hershey's bar. Annie and I have been dieting, so I don't want to eat this myself. So I'm going to ask you one more question, and then uh, so you can win the Hershey's bar here. Does anybody know who actually said that? The modern day version of God helps those who help themselves. Nobody. Okay, let me give you. I'll give you a couple hints. It's, I'm talking about the modern day version. The one we use now. Think of a founding father of this country. He may, um, he may have told you something like, put on your bifocals or go fly a kite. Ben Franklin! <laughs> He's winning. <laughs> enjoy, enjoy that, John. Enjoy that. Okay. Okay. It was Benjamin Franklin in the 1757 Poor Richard's Almanac. Um, There's a few people who said it before, but he's the one who phrased it that way. God helps those that help themselves. That is the number one quoted scripture that's not in the Bible. People th think it's in there. It's not. Um, cleanliness next to godliness is number two for just a little fact for you. That's also not in there. But... We're talking about God helps those that help themselves. The reason that is not in the Bible, because it's 100% wrong. It's not true. 